Congratulations, Hawkeyes, and welcome to the University of Iowa's 2021 Spring Commencement. Obviously, we're recognizing your commencement in a unique way, but even though our entire celebration is virtual, our pride in your accomplishments remains as strong and bright as at any Iowa commencement. In fact, you're a very special class of Iowa graduates, having finished your studies during a global pandemic unprecedented in our lifetime. Throughout it, you showed commitment and resilience in completing your degrees, and you set a great example for our entire campus. As always, we stand together together as Hawkeyes with strength, purpose, and pride. Today, many of you are gathering either in person or virtually with your loved ones. And any commencement is also a recognition of a team effort. So today, we also thank and recognize the family members, friends, teachers, mentors, and so many others who have added their support and their love to get you here to where you are today. I'd like to just take a moment and have you reflect on all the help that they have provided. Because I want you later in your life to think back on this moment and think back on all those loved ones who got you here. Pay it back. In the future, remember all the support they gave you and return the favor to some other person who needs it in their lives. Soon you will be moving on to new phases of your own lives, whether it be professional or personal or community and maybe even educational. But know that you've been a very central part of our community. You've added your excellence to this entire university while studying here, and you've contributed to our campus and larger community in so many ways. And looking forward, we are grateful that your future accomplishments will always be part of our proud Iowa legacy. We know that you will represent yourself, your university, and your profession with honor and integrity. And we know that you will make people's lives so much better through your talent, your compassion, and your newly minted knowledge and skills. Even though the years ahead promise major changes for you, please know that the University of Iowa will always be here and welcoming for you to come back to our campus. As alumni, you will always be part of who we are, who we have been, and who we will become. Once again, congratulations, good luck, and best wishes for great success in the wonderful years ahead of you. We are very, very proud of you. And remember, as we like to say around here, once a Hawkeye, always a Hawkeye. Go Hawks. Welcome graduating students, family, and friends. I am honored to join President Harold in bringing you greetings and heartfelt congratulations from the University of Iowa on this very special occasion. There is no question this is a very different graduation day than the one you have probably imagined many times over the years. But even though we're at a distance from each other, you can be sure that today you are surrounded by the joy and the very best wishes of your peers, family, and friends, as well as the many faculty and staff who have been your teachers, coaches, and mentors, and who are all so very proud of you. It's been a real privilege to work with you and to watch what you have achieved along the way. As proud as your family and friends are at this moment, you should know that this is also one of the proudest moments in the life of your college and the University of Iowa. This is what we work so hard for, to see our students achieve their goals. Even better is knowing how very well prepared you are to transition into the next stage of your professional or academic life, wherever your path may take you. You've worked with excellent faculty and mentors, received the highest quality education, and met rigorous academic standards. You've built powerful knowledge and skills while demonstrating the talent and drive it takes to succeed as a student at Iowa. As if that weren't enough, this graduating class has faced unprecedented challenges that tested your determination and your resilience, and you came through it with flying colors. When you put all of those qualities and experiences together, knowing that you are going to be putting those strengths into the service of your professions and your communities, it's exciting to think about what a difference you will make. You will be innovators in a time of change, leaders in your field, and champions of social justice. You will continue to learn and discover and create. You'll be a positive force in the lives of others. And through it all, you will be carrying on the proud tradition of the Hawkeyes that came before you. I know you'll continue to make us proud, just as you have always been proud to have graduated from this great university. The University of Iowa community joins me in wishing you the very best success. 
Welcome to the May 2021 Carver College of Medicine Associated Medical Sciences Commencement. I'm Dave Asprey, Associate Dean for Medical Education and Professional Programs and Chair and DEO of the Department of Physician Assistant Studies and Services. I would like to extend a special welcome to each graduate and to their families. We are so glad that you are able to be with us for this afternoon to join in this wonderful celebration. Today, we are celebrating the accomplishments of the students completing the Masters of Clinical Anatomy, a Master of Clinical Nutrition, a Bachelor of Science degree in Medical Laboratory Sciences, a Bachelor of Sciences degree in Nuclear Medicine Technology, and a Bachelor of Science degree in Radiation Sciences. Please know that each one of the Carver College of Medicine's faculty and staff join with your families and friends in sharing the excitement and the sense of pride as we acknowledge and celebrate your accomplishments this afternoon. I would like to introduce the members of administration. President of the University of Iowa, Bruce Harold. You may have already heard from President Harold, and we are honored to have him confer the degrees this afternoon. Dr. Colin Durdane, Krabenhoff Chair and DEO of the Department of Radiology and Professor of Radiology and Neurology. Dr. Matthew Krasowski, Clinical Professor of Pathology and Vice Chair for Clinical Pathology and Laboratory Services. Dr. Yusuf Menda, Professor of Radiology and Radiation Oncology and Medical Director of Nuclear Medicine Technology Education. Dr. Mark Pizzamente, Associate Professor of Anatomy and Cell Biology and Adjunct Professor of Health and Human Physiology. Dr. Anthony Knight, Clinical Associate Professor of Radiology, Administrative Director of Radiation Sciences and Director of Nuclear Medicine Technology Education. Stephanie Ellingson, Associate of Radiology and Director of Diagnostic Medical Sonography Education. Jared Stiles, Associate of Radiology and Director of Radiation Therapy Education. Jean Wees, Associate of Radiology and Director of Radiologic Technology Education. Jenny Myers, Associate of Radiology and Director of Radiation Sciences Student Affairs. Gabriella Young, Medical Laboratory Sciences Student Coordinator. Douglas Robertson, Director of Food and Nutrition Services. Lori Croyman, Associate Director of Food and Nutrition Services and Director of Clinical Nutrition Master's Program. Jenny Dua, Master of Clinical Anatomy Program Coordinator. I would also like to take this opportunity to acknowledge all of the other faculty members who have had an instrumental role in didactic and clinical education of the graduates. Finally, I think it would be fitting to acknowledge the family members of the graduates. Parents, spouses, partners, siblings, grandparents, we know that you have played a profoundly important role in helping the graduates achieve this important milestone. Thank you. I would now like to introduce our keynote speaker, Dr. Colin Durdane. Dr. Durdane is the Krabenhoff Chair and DEO of the Department of Radiology, the Director of the Iowa Institute of Biomedical Imaging, and a professor in the Department of Radiology and Neurology. Please welcome Dr. Durdane. Congratulations to the class of 2021. It is a great privilege to speak to you all today. I'm humbled and encouraged to see all these bright young people embarking on important careers in healthcare. I wanted to take this opportunity today to talk to you briefly about my thoughts on change. What will change and what won't change over the years to come in your careers? What will change? Pretty much everything. But I'll focus on technology and how we work together on teams primarily. In addition to the evolution in technology, this COVID-19 pandemic will also have a lasting impact on how we work. Here we are having yet another virtual graduation. The pace of change in technology over my career has been amazing. We all see the world as static, unchanging. The sun comes up every morning. But take a minute to take a look around you. Look at your cell phone, electric cars, lawnmower engines, all radically changed over the last 10 years. And what will the next 10 years bring us in medical care? 4D movies of the beating heart, virtual reality, 
for visualizing surgical procedures, advances in image-guided therapy, new imaging technologies, new tests for new diseases. For example, just this last spring, graduates of our medical laboratory science program developed and implemented large-scale rapid test for COVID-19 that was critical for how we met the challenge. And finally, better electronic medical records that can be shared easily, particularly with patients themselves and virtual visits for providers too. The second area of major change is going to be teamwork, how we all work together in an in a environment of constant change. We're always working to improve, striving for excellence. Your perspective and experience will be critical for designing systems that are more efficient, effective, and put the patient and their experience at center stage. We will need you and your perspective to develop and lead these efforts. So my advice to you, jump in, embrace these changes. If you see an opportunity to pursue something new that excites you, do it. And then what doesn't change? Probably the most important things. Your commitment to doing a job well and treating others with respect. For those of you in patient-facing roles, your ability to relate to patients as people, often facing terrifying situations, will have great impact. You will be the face of medical care for many of the patients that we all serve. In our increasingly technical world, the opportunities for the human connection are going to become more and more important. So in summary, remember that what you'll be doing in 10 years will probably be very different than what you've been learning for the last four. Embrace opportunities for professional development and leadership. You'll definitely have them. And don't forget the importance of the human touch. Congratulations and go Hawks. Our next speaker is Sophie Benegas, is from Norwalk, Iowa, and she earned the Master's of Clinical Anatomy degree in the fall. Please join me in welcoming Sophie Benegas. Hi, everyone. I'm honored to have the opportunity to say a few words on behalf of my five-person cohort for the Master's in Clinical Anatomy program. I was lucky to work alongside this diverse and uh, brilliant group of individuals for a year and a half, where we triumphed, celebrated, failed, and grieved together. For some reason, we usually ended up at Stella's happy hour, no matter the outcome of our exams, which turned to Zoom happy hour with our professors um, towards the end of the semester. The most memorable part of the program for me was the incredible faculty that we worked with. Between Dr. Pismenti's question and response to a question and Kathy's brutal honesty and quick wit, uh, we were challenged in our understanding and ability to learn in ways that I have quite never been challenged before. This was a perfectly balanced with the unwavering support, advising, and friendship that we received every time we entered the ACB offices. I want to thank Dr. Swales, Hoffman, Dunwald, and Holton um, in always being a shoulder to cry on, a person to laugh with, or just someone to debrief on the crazy circumstances um, in which we were receiving our degrees. Um, I can say on behalf of all of us that thank you for making us better learners, educators, and all around people. Learning anatomy was certainly more digestible and palatable because of you. Thanks. Thank you, Sophie. Our next speaker, Megan Anderson, is graduating with a Master's of Clinical Nutrition degree and is from Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Please welcome Megan Anderson. Fellow Hawkeye graduates, I would first like to express my gratitude and appreciation to all family members, educators, and advisors for your committed support throughout our time here at this reputable institution. We would not be able to be where we are today without your continued guidance and encouragement. The knowledge, experience, and skill set acquired during our time here at the University of Iowa will serve as the foundation for our careers as healthcare professionals while prepared to provide exceptional care. This institution has provided us with lasting relationships and the resources to pursue our dreams and achieve our goals of a rewarding career in the healthcare industry. This past year presented some unique challenges, and at times it seemed like our goals were in jeopardy. But with resilience and continued determination, we prevailed in these times of uncertainty. As Hawkeyes, we support and encourage one another in times of hardship and celebrate each other in times of success. I am so proud and honored to be graduating with some of the brightest, most compassionate, and hardworking classmates I have ever had the privilege of working alongside. You all have so much talent, and I am so eager for you to share your skill sets and wealth of knowledge with others in this next chapter. I encourage you all to set forth with confidence, knowing that you are capable of achieving your greatest goals. 
congratulations once again on this profound accomplishment. And as always, go Hawks. Thank you, Megan. The next speaker this afternoon is Elizabeth McElmeal. Elizabeth is a graduating with a Bachelor's of Science degree in Radiation Sciences and is from Waterloo, Iowa. Please join me in welcoming Elizabeth McElmeal. Friends, family, and colleagues, I'm honored to be here today to celebrate this year's graduating class of spring 2021. The class of 2021 has faced many challenges and accomplishments throughout their years here at the University of Iowa. Not only have we overcome the obvious hurdles of COVID-19, but also the trials and tribulations of our respected field during this pandemic. I would like to take this time to especially thank all of our clinical coordinators, professors, advisors, step technologists, fellow classmates, and friends and family for your continuous support and encouragement throughout our journey during this time in our lives. Today, I would like to go back and reflect on one of the most memorable moments that I thought was important throughout our time in the Radiation Sciences program. The initial moment that I remember is walking into our first class, sitting down, looking around, and the room being completely silent. That silence did not last long though. Little did I know, I was about to meet some of the most resilient, hardworking, kind-hearted people that I now consider to be my lifelong friends. I would not have been able to survive some of the long-lasting and exhausting days without the continuous support and encouragement from my fellow classmates. Even though we will all be parting our ways very soon, I have no doubt that this class will continue to amaze the people around them every day. The Radiation Sciences Program at the University of Iowa has set each and every one of us up for success. Our mentors have worked hard and have been incredibly flexible with us during our time here as students. Without their help, we would not be where we are today. I look forward to seeing the growth, opportunities, and the accomplishments that this class of 2021 will achieve. I know I'm speaking for not only myself, but also my fellow classmates, that we are honored to say that we will be alumni from the University of Iowa, Carver College of Medicine Radiation Sciences Program. As Russell always says, ma'am, work hard, have fun, and then go home. Thank you and congratulations class of 2021. And as always, Go Hawks. Thank you, Elizabeth. Our final speaker, chosen by the graduating class, is Jillian York. Jillian is a senior radiation therapist and works in the Department of Radiation Oncology. Please welcome Jillian York. Hello and congratulations to the class of 2021. I'm so happy to be here with you today, even if it happens to be in a virtual pre-recorded kind of way. Nevertheless, I am proud to be here with you and your family and friends to celebrate your achievements that led you here today. A lot of hard work got you here. You should feel proud. All of you had to adapt and navigate through the constantly changing environment that this pandemic has created. With that, you've learned to overcome whatever obstacles are in your way. When you chose to work in healthcare, you chose one of the most rewarding careers. Every day, you get a chance to make a positive impact in dozens of patients' lives. You have the power to calm their fears and help guide them through what is likely a stressful and difficult time in their lives. Go the extra mile when no one's looking be patient and listen slow down and treat that patient the way you would want your family treated don't forget it's the little stuff that can make someone's experience just a little bit better i promise your training here at the university of iowa has prepared you for what's next look how far you've come in the last few years you've done the work You've put in the hours, you've got this. I've enjoyed working alongside you in clinic and I can't wait to see where life takes you. Best wishes and congratulations. Thank you, Jillian. We are pleased to have with us for the conferring of the degrees, the president of the University of Iowa, Bruce Harold. Please join me in welcoming President Harold. 
President Harold, the Masters of Clinical Anatomy and Masters of Clinical Nutrition candidates having completed all the requirements for the degrees of the Masters of Clinical Anatomy and Masters of Clinical Nutrition are recommended to you by the College of Medicine for the conferring of these degrees. On the recommendation of the faculty of the Carver College of Medicine and by the authority invested in me by the State Board of Regents, I confer on each of you the degree of Master of Clinical Anatomy and the Master of Clinical Nutrition as qualified and designated. Thank you, President Harold. We would now like to uh, formally recognize the master's degree candidates. Sophie Benegas, Matthew Larson Murray, Tama Nafa Shoke, Jade Warner, Megan Mathea Anderson, Kate Renee Kochmiller, Colette Isabel Miller, Olivia Marie Ott, Chloe Jean Petrick, Rebecca Suzanne Phillips, Anna Gabriella Rodas, Brandy Michelle Wright. The Bachelor of Science candidates, having completed all of the requirements for the degree of the Bachelor of Science in Medical Laboratory Sciences, Nuclear Medicine Technology, and Radiation Sciences, recommended to you by the faculty of the Carver College of Medicine for the conferring of these degrees. On the recommendation of the faculty of the Carver College of Medicine and by the authority invested in me by the State Board of Regents, I confer on each of you the degree of Bachelor of Science in Medical Laboratory Science, Nuclear Medicine Technology, and Radiation Sciences as qualified and designated. Thank you, President Harold. The turning of the tassel is the traditional gesture by which each student signifies passage from degree candidates to graduate. Now, before we recognize you individually, please mark your new status as graduates of the University of Iowa Carver College of Medicine by moving the tassel of your cap from the right side to the left. We would now like to recognize each graduate individually. Congratulations to all the graduates. Claire Marie Anderson with high distinction. Megan Lorraine Cooper. Isaiah Michael Gibbs. Austin Andrew Cress. Catherine Fawn, Catherine Joan Reitz with highest distinction, Alex Sanchez with highest distinction, Randy Tucson with high distinction, Peyton Emily Benj, Lauren Barbara Bloom with distinction. Abby Bozinski with highest distinction. Jenica Cherie Clausen. Allison Lauren Corlett. Kara Lynn Fountain. Jessica Gasky. Lakin Joy Gerwell with high distinction. Emily Sarah Smith. Riley Ann L. Stuckey. Katie Jean Stuker. Claire Catherine Thede. Gretchen Vandervoort with high distinction. Shannon Nicole Bracy. McKenna Marie Carver with highest distinction. Allison Mackenzie Denny with highest distinction. Natalie Sue Fairchild with high distinction. Brianna Nicole Frank with highest distinction. Carly Ann Madsen with high distinction. 
Keegan Ray Sanborn with distinction. Kristen Elizabeth Berg with distinction. Margaret Paige Brady with distinction. Sophia Joe Geringer with distinction. Madison Ann Gravy with highest distinction. Jordan Ray Henniger with highest distinction. Michaela Catherine Hiley. Elizabeth Ann Macamill. Braylon K. Nyan. Emma Jean Knoll. Miranda Suzanne Olson with distinction. Brianna April Pladson. Zoe Renee Salisbury. Connor James Worf. Bailey B. Bicknell. This has been a beautiful ceremony, aptly recognizing the accomplishments of the graduates this afternoon. We know that you have had to work hard, to persevere at times when you may have felt like giving up, that you have spent hundreds of hours to hone your skills in order to become a healthcare professional and a critical member of the healthcare team. As a college and a university, we take great pride in our graduates and are excited to welcome you to the ranks of the Carver College of Medicine alumni. Now I could go on at this point about the importance of this ceremony and how amazing each group of graduates are, but I was once provided with sage advice from a colleague speaking at a commencement. He let me know that speaking at a commencement is like being a corpse at a funeral. It's critically important that you be there, but no one really wants to hear you speak. So with that wise admonition, I will close our ceremony by saying, colleagues, friends, and family, allow me the distinct pleasure of officially presenting to you the graduates of the class of 2021. They are among the brightest, most talented, and compassionate healthcare providers in the country. Graduates, our state and nation are fortunate to receive you as their future healthcare providers. Today, it is an honor for me to welcome you as colleagues. Congratulations. On behalf of the Board of Regents, State of Iowa, let me give my heartfelt congratulations to everyone graduating today. Today is a day for celebration, and we celebrate this moment of achievement that each of you has reached today. The past year has been one like none that any of us have experienced. The pandemic has changed so many things about the way we live our lives. This goes for pursuing higher education as well. It has made things far more challenging for you as you completed your studies, but you have persevered through unprecedented circumstances to achieve your goal of receiving your degree. Commencement is when we fulfill the most crucial mission of higher education, graduating talented people like you who will go on to make a positive impact on our society. Though today's commencement ceremony is not a traditional format and not what you were expecting when your college career started, this in no way takes away from the tremendous accomplishment of graduating. The common theme of all commencement ceremonies is that we celebrate the value of education and your achievement. As you embark on an exciting new chapter of your life and the many successes that lie ahead of you, take a moment to reflect that you are all now graduates of the University of Iowa, one of the great public universities in our country. You should be proud of the people that help support you and help get you to this significant moment as a mom and someone who supported her children and others during their college journey. I can say that they are extremely proud of you. Receiving a degree is one of life's truly great moments. Once again, Congratulations to you all. The Board of Regents, State of Iowa, is very pleased and proud to call you alumni of the University of Iowa. We are the faculty of the Radiologic Technology Program, sending congratulations to Kristen, Paige, Sophia, Patty, Jordan, Michaela, Liz, Braylon, Emma, Miranda, Bree, Zoe, Honor, the Hawks. Hawks.
Congratulations from the Student Affairs Office. We are so proud of you and all your accomplishments. We look forward to hearing from you in the future as UI alumni. Go Hawks! Go Hawks! Congratulations. Best of luck in the future. We're so proud of you. Remember to always believe in yourselves. We'll miss you. Can't wait to see all the things you do in your career. Never quit challenging yourself because there's always more to learn. Woo woo. Stay in touch. Go, Go Hawks! Hawks! Congratulations from the Diagnostic Medical Sonography Program. Congratulations, everybody. We are so proud of you. Good luck and stay in touch. Congratulations, class of 2021. We're very proud to now be able to claim you as alumni and members of our extended family. I wish you all the best and I hope to see you again in the near future. To the class of 2021, we are so proud of you and your resilience over the last year. We are excited to see where your next chapter takes you. Congratulations. Jean, so proud of you, congratulations. I knew you could do it. I love you so much. Kara, we are so proud of you. Congratulations! Woo! Love that picture. Congratulations, Kara. Good luck. We love you. Maddie Gravy. Four years ago, we moved you into your dorm at Reno Hall, and it was a tearful goodbye. And look at you today, all poised and confident, ready to tackle your career. Congrats, Maddie. You did it. Yay! I love you, Emma. Go Hawks. Oh.